Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix any of these failed orders if they're coming from bots or anything like that. So I'm going to walk you through an example. This is a live example on our shop page. And then what we're going to do is there's a setting inside of WooCommerce we can enable. And then you probably have to add some code snippets. So I'm going to walk you through how to do all of that. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you there is one limitation with this. So let me just go ahead and show you this is what we've been getting hit with lately as you can see a whole bunch of failed orders and a lot of times they happen like pretty quick you know within half an hour a couple minutes sometimes so if you click on any of these they're very easy to tell if they're bots so let me just randomly click on i don't know this one down here tyler osborne so you could tell when it's a bot if it's like a very generic name and then the email is always like this where it's like first name last name and then random characters at gmail.com and then in this situation, I 100% know it's a bot because on the front end of this website, we aren't capturing their shipping information. So what they're doing is they're bypassing like your website and they're using uh, different API calls that is not really secure. So um, I'll get a little technical and with the latest version of like the Gutenberg editor and WordPress, they're allowing these like kind of holes to exist. And so hackers and bots, they're taking advantage of this. So that's what this code snippet I'm gonna give you later is gonna prevent that from happening. But there is gonna be a limitation where if you're using the Gutenberg editor to do your WooCommerce, uh, this is gonna probably break your website. So this is gonna work great if you're just using like short codes, a page builder. In this case, we build all of our websites with Elementor. So this isn't gonna break your website. So you can see right here the order details on the right side. It's just giving me like this random error message. So I did some research and it kind of just looped me back into that. Yeah, these are just bots running this. So I'll just go on to another one real quick and just show you uh, Eric Hoppins and watch the email is gonna be the same. It's like add a Gmail account. And then sometimes they're hit you all from the same IP address, but in most situations, they're gonna jump around between different IPs. That's why it's kind of hard to, to track these bots because they can use different IP addresses. So now I'm gonna jump into how you can, you know, prevent this from happening. So now we're going to jump into the WooCommerce settings and enable something called rate limiting. So this is severely buried inside the settings. So it's it's going to be hard to find unless you're actually looking for it. So underneath WooCommerce, you're going to want to click on settings. Then inside of here, underneath advanced, go ahead and click that and click features. I told you it's not going to be easy to find this one. Then you're going to want to make sure that you click this button right here. It's off by default. So rate limit checkout. This is basically telling you right here, you can read more if you want, um, but basically if it can kind of predict that it's a bot, they're gonna try to prevent it. But I have found out that if you don't have that on, they can still bypass it. And it might not be as heavy, so it might cut back on like maybe 50%. But now let's go ahead and we need to uh, add two different code snippets. And before I do that, I wanna give full credit to this website right here, this guy, he gives more details into why this is happening. They're basically just trying to test different credit cards. And what's really cool is he gives you the code snippets down here. So I'll leave a link in the description to this website directly. And then I'm also gonna have the code on my website just in case this ever gets taken down. So you're gonna go ahead and just copy these two code snippets and just paste it into your website. And then I'm gonna show you what this does. Okay, so if you don't already have a code snippet on your website, this is the one that I recommend. This is just called Code Snippets, so you can find it in the WordPress repository. But, you know, I already have this installed. I just wanted to show you the one that I like to use. So, like I said, if you just go into Snippets now, so on the left part of this website, I have one called Snippets. And then you're going to go ahead and just click on Add New. As you can see on this website, I have a whole bunch of them already. But I just called this one, like, Block Bot card testing and I just pasted in those two different code snippets from this website right here. And like I said, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to get it from my website, but I'm gonna give full credit to him. Okay, so basically what this is doing is with the later versions of WordPress, there's two different ways that someone can gain access to like the checkout all through like API. So basically what that means is they're not gonna to go to the front end of your website uh, to do a checkout. And so that's a pretty big security hole because you can now give people like full access to your checkout and there's not really like any limits to how often people can hit this. It's not very good at predict, uh, predicting if there's like a bot there. So if you look on the website right here, um, 
and I've heard this from several other people, the recaptchas and stuff, they just don't really work that well on the checkout pages. It might get some of them, but I have heard from several people after doing the research that these recaptchas, they just don't really work that great. So what this is gonna do is basically just shut down those APIs completely. So I'm gonna show you how you can tell if it's working or not. So I'm gonna click uh, save changes and activate. And then I'm just gonna copy this and then I'm gonna go to the front end of the website and show you what happens. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to that URL directly and see if it gives us a 404. So this is what we want to happen, is if a bot goes here, it should go nowhere. So if I hit enter right here, you're gonna see it goes to our 404 page. I don't have this in Elementor yet, but that's good. That's exactly what you want. So let me go ahead and turn that snippet off and then show you what happens uh, when you don't have that on. So if I just go back here and paste in that URL again, so you just, you could all you could I like doing a test like this because you can visually make sure that things are working. So this is called like wiki design. So now I'm going to go here and it's not going to be a 404. So this is actually uh, opened up. So now anybody can exploit that little hole. So that's what this code snippet does is basically just make it where it's always going to get a 404. And there's two different versions of this. Uh, when you have a WordPress website, you can see there's like a version one. And then there's one not as version one. So this is like the older one, I believe. And this is like the newer one. Okay, so now you have that. So that should, as of right now, if you turn on the rate limiting and you have this code snippet, you should be good. As of recording this video, I've installed this on a couple client websites and mine, and this has prevented all of those bot accounts from happening. So like I said in the beginning of the video, there is one limitation. So let me show you what that is if you are using the block editor. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a test on the block editor version of a checkout and I'm gonna show you what happens. So I'm gonna open up the console here. So I'm just gonna hit F12 and you can see right now when I hit place order, nothing's gonna happen. It's probably gonna ask me for more information. So I'm just gonna put in some uh, placeholder information. I'm gonna put in a fake address. Let's put Tampa, Florida. Uh, fun fact, I used to live in Tampa. Let me think of 336. Two, six? I think that was one of my old zip codes. Okay, so watch what happens now. When I click on place order, you're gonna see an error message happen right here. See this right here where it says a 404? So that means that it's not gonna work. So it's not even gonna try to place the order. So there is that limitation if you are using the block editor Gutenberg to make your WooCommerce websites and you're having this issue, this isn't gonna be a solution for you, but it's gonna work with all the other page builders and the old way of doing it. Because what they did is instead of, like if I go to the edit page, instead of being able to have these different widgets, let me close this down. As you can see right here, this is just generic. It's like these checkout fields. So all of these are just part of the block editor. So this is where the problem is, is that this block editor is opening up all of these like REST APIs and it has that pretty big security hole. So hopefully in the future, WooCommerce will fix this or WordPress, but as of now, you could just use something like Elementor, use their widgets and everything's gonna work out fine. So I definitely recommend if you're doing this type of stuff, make sure you test it first and don't just put on a client website and think it's gonna work. Cause uh, I did realize if you didn't have that rate limiting on, it didn't cut down on all of them. So I just wanted to make this video and cover how you can prevent these bots from hitting your WooCommerce website. Hopefully this was helpful. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.